was a trip. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid of me? Are you fucking crazy? You tried to run me off the road. All right, now just calm down. Calm down. I didn't mean any harm. Calm down? What the fuck is going on? I just spent my day in therapy so I could calm down. Oh, I used to be a therapist over 60, uh, I mean, a few years ago. You don't look 60. You don't look a day over 30 years old. Why are you going to say 60 years? Who the fuck are you? Maybe we should go back to my place to talk. Well, I'll follow you. Uh. Van won't start. Mind if I hitch a ride with you? I guess so. God, you look just like me. All right, get in. I know how a car works. <laughs> Don't touch anything. I'll explain everything. Right there, just uh, pull the car over Whoa, there. Why? Just get out of the car! We have to get out here because I'm living in a condemned building. Squatting. We can't park in the drive, so we gotta walk on. Alright. Why did you run me off the road? Are you crazy? This is gonna sound kinda crazy, alright? It's gonna sound a little bit crazy, but what happens is I'm you in like 10 years into the future and I'm having a dream and I've just gotten so good control of my dreams that I've come back to tell you some very important information that you need to know. Very important. So what did you need to tell me? Well, I, I, I saw that there box that fell out of your car there when I ran you off the road. It's bad news. Bad news. Don't go anywhere near that box. I, I, I tried to figure out what to do with that thing and that's I just after that I realized controlling my dreams is what I wanted to do. Cause I mean, look at me. Look at where I am now. Look at where I am. I've got everything. Everything. Well, I don't believe you. I think you're just some crazy guy that tried to run me off the road. Oh, really? Really? I'm you. Look, here. Uh, this is my old ID card. Johnson Fats! Well, I, I believe you. Yeah, damn straight, believe me. You want to leave that box alone. Nothing good will come from that box. I lost all my friends to it. And now I've, you know, I've got what I want for what I need in my life right now. But I can't lose you. If I lose you, then I lose me. No, I want to be able to make my own decisions. This is, this is what you, this is what's supposed to happen. I've been to the future. This is the this is the future in the past. This is how it's supposed to be. So this is just a dream? Yeah, yeah. Then I can kill you! Yeah, get off of me! You like that, don't you? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You can't kill me! <laughs> this is just a dream! <laughs> Where's the van? <sighs> if there's one person that'll know about this box, it's my old friend Sebastian from college. Who is it? It's me! Johnson! From college! Johnson? Sebastian! Johnson, it's been a long time. Yeah, it's gone. It's, I'm, I'm good, what, how are you? Ten years? Yeah! Eleven? I don't know. Ten? Yeah. Ten? Yeah. Ten? Yeah. Ten? yeah. So how are you doing? I'm doing alright. Mm -hmm. Close the door. Close it. Better. So, uh, what brings you by? Well, I'm actually here because I found this box today and I was wondering if you'd be able to put a headphone jack on it. Yeah, I think I can do that. So, uh, when do you think it'll be ready? Uh, it's gonna take a walk, but I can do this. It'll just give me a couple of hours. I'll be back in a couple hours then. Sounds good. Thank you. Close the door. Good.
Hmm, I wonder. How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you the good life. But in spite of all that I've tried, a handful of our people with their lives have made our life impossible. There's no way to detach ourselves from what's happened today. Not only we're in a compound situation, not only are there those who have left and committed the betrayal of the century, some have stolen children from others and they defeat right now to kill them. It's like they stole their children. And we, we are sitting here waiting to come out of here. I don't think... You're only standing here because he was here in Tokyo. So I don't know what you're talking about, having an individual life. Your life has been extended to the day that you're standing there because of him. One of those people on that plane is gonna gonna shoot the pilot. I know that. I didn't plan it, but I know it's gonna shoot. I didn't plan it. He's gonna shoot that pilot and down comes that plane into the jungle. children and be kind to seniors and take the portion like they used to take in ancient Greece and step over quietly because we are not committing suicide it's a revolutionary act we can't go back we won't leave us alone they're now going back to tell more lies which means more congressmen and there's no way no way we can survive hmm? you can have an opportunity but if our children are are left, we are going to have them butchered. He's responsible for it. He brought these people to us. He and Deanna Myrtle. But people in San Francisco will not, not be idle over this. They'll not take our death in vain. Yes, you see. Is it too late for Russia? 
Here's why it's too late for Russia. They kill. They started to kill. That's why it makes it too late for Russia. Otherwise, I said, Russia, you bet your life. But it's too late. I can't control these people. They're out there. They're gone with the guns. And it's too late. Every time anybody had the experience of, of going into a past life, I was fortunate enough to father to be able to let them experience it all the way through their death, so to speak. And everybody was so happy when they made that step to the other side. You can do but step that way. It's the only way to step. And what used to do before I came here. So let me tell you about it. It might make a lot of you feel a little more comfortable. Sit down and be quiet, please. One of the things that I used to do, I used to be a therapist. And the kind of therapy that I did had to do with reincarnation and past life situations. I'm a real woodsman. That's right. I live in the woods. I'm a man of the land.
Oh, oh no. Sector B is going to explode at the facility. They're doing it all wrong. Last time this happened, insurance companies got involved and people got hurt. Have time, have time, don't need to rush, don't need to rush. What's What's Not every day this happens. Oh, shit. I can't run for shit! I've got absolutely no control! Oh. So hot. I can't even move! Hammer. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. The uh, the mechanics brush. Thank you. Uh, 
It's already going. You guys had a broken chain, and we got to replace this already. All right, I just need to decide some these papers. Oh man, I have to get home and check my MySpace, Dad. Thanks. You guys can just wait downstairs. We'll have it to you in a few minutes. Oh. What the fuck is wrong with this thing? Ah. Sorry about that. How can I help you? Well, uh, I actually used to work here in the therapy center, um, in this building, and, um, I, uh, I was just wondering if Vinegar Thornton was still working here, or if you know where he is. Oh, what happened? Well, it was about a few months ago, he... He found this, this strange brown box, and he started acting really funny. Yeah, not not like himself. He was kind of box kind of made him a little crazy. He was kind of crazy over this box. I I didn't see it, and he he uh, he ended up killing himself. A box. Well, he was first he. He tried to show me the box. Uh, I didn't take too much interest in it. There was uh, too much work to be done, you know. And uh, he started coming to work late. That's when, uh, that's when I really started to create problems. He was, he was drinking on the job, and he, I, I never saw him without the box, even when he was working. Uh, I can't imagine what his home life was like. I found him in the car, passed out with headphones in it, like it was a Walkman or something. He, not a Discman, but like a Walkman. His break was done ten minutes ago. He was just laying there. Until eventually, one day, I, I found him and he was... He was dead. He died. Oh man, that's just... That's really messed up. I just... Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez. I just... That's... I can't believe that happened. Yeah. It's, it's sad. Yeah, it's just his daughter. The rape is nothing. When can we go home? I gotta update my mood to pissed off because I can't go home. Dude, the car will be ready in no time at all. I don't even care. I hate you, Dad. <laughs> This is awesome. This is definitely going on my MySpace. Sorry about that. Well, I should probably leave. All right. I'm go. I'm sorry. Just, just get out of here. I'm sorry. I can't believe I actually saw teeth. They just disappeared though. There's gotta be one place I can find him. And I know where it is. In my dreams. Maybe if I can get it to work this time. 
Maybe this time I'll be able to see him for real. Maybe this time he'll be with me forever. <sighs> Yeah, therapy drugs. Therapy drugs always work. We'll use some therapy drugs. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> and if we have the therapy drugs ready, it's time to add the special serum. <laughs> Extract of orange. Oranges from Guyana. <laughs> they told me I was crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just finally gonna see him in my dreams. Johnson. I knew I could find you in my dreams. It's time to stop playing games, Teeth. This time, we're gonna get down to business. Uh, this is a nice little chapel. Teeth! Johnson. Chief, you're not going anywhere. You're coming with me now. I've got something I have to show you. Come on. Come on, you're coming with me. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Which one of these cars do you like the best? You're gonna steal a car? This is my dream. unlocked. <sighs> Alright. Just gotta connect these two wires and... No! <laughs> That's right. No stopping you now. You don't know what it means to actually catch me. Oh, I have caught you already. You slowed me down. You slowed me down. I'm on the run in your dreams. No, you can't be on the run. I need you. I need to show you. I need to show you the way. This, this isn't the way to your house, Jones. It's my dream. It's my way. Where did you get that? No, 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 not, not here. No, not in my dream, Teeth. You can try it in yours, but not in mine. It's... 
How long is this gonna take to get here? It's okay. gonna take as long as I want it to take. Yeah, it seems like it. Uh, the way, the normal way to your house isn't this long. This is the only way to my house. No, there's, you might have made it up in your dream, but it's definitely longer than the regular way. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Regular Way. What's the regular way then, huh? Huh? You want to tell me that one? <laughs> regular way. What is regular anyway, it's teeth? Regular? <laughs> you want to know something that's not regular? Your teeth. They're always out. Always sticking out. I don't even think your name's really Teeth, is it? I just called you that because that's what I saw. Your teeth. That's all I see when you look in your face. All your right. teeth. All right. Just relax. Drive. Pay attention to the road. Calm down. All right, Teeth. Hey, Hardy's. They got rid of that. Get in bed. Why do you want me to get in bed? I'm gonna pull you out of my dream. That way in the morning, you'll be with me, here. This is fucked up, Johnson. No, it's not. <laughs> this is fucked up. This is how I'm going to keep you. I guess we can talk now. I found your box, Teeth. I found your box. I was hoping you'd find it. I had this, uh, headphone jack installed by my good buddy Sebastian from college. How did you figure out to try to listen to it? Because as soon as I found this box, I remembered that ten years ago, in that snowy park, you had the same box connected to your headphones. And that's when it came to me. If I installed a headphone jack, I could listen to its contents. Well, sometimes it's not what's on the outside. It's what's on the inside that counts. So, what did you hear when you listened to it? Well, when I first started listening to it, I didn't hear anything. But as I listened, it became almost overwhelming the amount of voices talking on the, on the box. One voice stood out, the voice of a man named James McAlvin. While listening to it, I became possessed and started rifling through my basement, looking through everything, until I came across this old photo, this old painting, painting of James McAlvin. And why is he significant? Don't you see? He used to be a therapist. I used to be a therapist. And he used to help people with their past life situations. And that's what I did before I got... fired. Well, that could be a coincidence. That was me in my past life! Winners are very wet and disagreeable. Winters are good 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 yeah, you stole a car. I did. You know how I got that control? Hmm. Through drugs. 
This is a bottle of standard therapy drug. Well, what kind of, well, what'd you get, where'd you get that? This cost me my job. I stole it from the therapy cabinet in the therapy supply room. Authorized use only. The second drug is the Guyana orange extract. Shipped from the jungles of Guyana via the internet. I was doing research on mind control, dream control. I found the Guyana orange extract on the website. I ordered myself a bottle. And I realized when I mixed this with my standard therapy drug, I had the power to control my dreams. Well, how do you take it? You just drink it? No, 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 no. Through injection. Oh. Christ, straight into the blood. <laughs> How long have you been doing that for? Oh. Quite a while. Quite a while. First it was just the therapy drugs. And then we mixed together. It's like the power of the world in my hand. The power of the world. That's crazy. <laughs> One of the things I realized once I started taking these drugs mixed together is that I'd wake up in strange places. After the dream? Yeah, when I wake up from my dreams. Sometimes I even wake up in the houses of my ex-patients. <laughs> oh. Strange, I know. Well, what do they, th what do they think about that? Uh, <laughs> well... Or do they know you as well as I do? <laughs> Well, they've all been prescribed certain drugs. See, well, if you do end up uh, waking up at one of their patients' houses of yours, you should leave them a box. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna do it right now. All right. Have fun with that. <laughs> hmm. So much control. I feel like a real woodsman now. <laughs> Sector B. They can handle it themselves. I'm not even gonna go over there. I'm gonna go my own way. <laughs> now that I've got control. Yeah. Work those feet. Kicking those legs. Swinging those arms. Pine trees! Not pine trees! Pine trees! Not pine trees! Unclick my buckle and I'll play a tune! Ah. Ah. Old Blue! Bessie! Better stay here. This is too dangerous.
Yes, if I've got to get up there, I've got to get up there. Fernandez's his trumpet, so he wasn't kidding. <laughs> Fernandez, that old devil. I'll get a special treat later. Fernandez, what are you looking for? I am looking for my trumpet! There is no trumpet! There never was a trumpet! I need my trumpet, woman! I can hear it! Where is it? We're settled down now! We have a house! You don't need a trumpet! Honey, the doctor said it would take more than three years to stop hearing those trumpet sounds. But, but I can hear them. Here's the trumpets playing. Playing.
the trumpet. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, thank you for letting me know. Okay, all right, thank you. Bye-bye. Hey, Teeth! You found the trumpet! <laughs> well, you know what that means. <laughs> you found the box. <laughs> Johnson, can I go now? I guess. I've been wearing these clothes for three days. I've been hanging out with you. I just, I need to get home. I need to take a shower. Alright. Alright, well I'm gonna get going, but you remember, you stop taking stuff out of your dreams and bringing them into your real life. It messes things up. It's not good. First me, then the trumpet. Alright. I'm gonna see you later. Bye, T. Bye. Bye, T. What I should be asking you is, why are you? Fernandez, what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> Fernandez, you trickster. Now who's the trumpeteer? Oh, come on, Fernandez, this is serious. We have to start getting serious. We can't just be playing jokes all the time. <laughs> they don't call me a trumpeteer for nothing. <laughs> Fernandez, here, you take this. <laughs> All right, so, are you coming on the journey with me or not? I will, but first I must do something. What do you gotta do? I have to make a call. Oh. All right, I will well, meet you there. Okay, I'll head off then. Hey! Yes, me, Fernandez the Trumpeteer. How are you, Fernandez the Killer? Oh, yes, I, I am good, yes, yes. Hey, school! How's your wife and kids? Dead. Dead, you say? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mio. Well, how, how's that pool? There is no pool. Steve said there was! Asshole! Off! Don't listen to him. He's just like this guy I met. He doesn't know what he's ever talking about. <laughs> well, I was just letting you know that I may never see you again. So, 
I must say goodbye for good. Hello? Hello, are you there? Mijo, are you there? How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you a good life. Okay, ready? 